What's good guys and welcome back once again. I hope you guys are well. It's been a minute or two and I can only apologize. You must be sick of hearing me say that in the intros, but today I'm coming back with you with a different video and hopefully you guys take from this some great information. It has been a requested video for a very long time when it comes down to guns, um, different types of guns, what guns people should be using, whether you're a newbie or you're someone more experienced that wants to upgrade your gun, change your gun, looking for something a little bit different. Hopefully this video brings something to you. We're also gonna be going into depth in terms of maintaining your guns ready for the season, changing the bands, changing the wishbones, the mono lines, what not to use, et cetera, et cetera. Whether you're upgrading to a reel, we're gonna be showing you how to set up reels and things like that. Also, making sure you get the correct elongation for your bands, et cetera, et cetera. But first off, we're gonna kick the video off with talking about different guns. Now, this is all gonna be specific to the UK. Um, obviously, we're in the UK and there may be newbies out there or even experienced guys that maybe want to get a bit more hands-on with actually maintaining their guns rather than taking it to a shop and letting them do it for you. Um, it is simple, it's not as hard as what people think and it's not as daunting as what people think, but obviously we want to have the perfect gun set up for ourselves. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into the guns first and then we'll talk about all the good things later. I, I, I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so the shock's so freezing So now guys, to kick it off, this is the DB from Underwater Forage in the UK. This is a model that me and a few others put our minds together and we've created what we think is one of the best guns for the UK. Now this is the perfect setup. So I'm using this for an example at the minute just to go for a rundown on what we think is the best gun for the UK. Now this is an 82 centimeter gun. Um, 82 is quite common because it's that mix between the 90 and the 75. Um, so it's really nice if you're in a bit of a, you want a good all-rounder gun, you come down to Cornwall quite a bit, you've got better viz, you want a bit of longer range, but you live in Sussex and you've still got crap viz, you know, this is an all-rounder. If you was going to buy one gun, this would be the perfect length for you. Now, when we talk about lengths, um, it's always an ongoing discussion when it comes down to lengths. Now, with lengths, if, for example, you have better viz a lot of the time, then you're going to want to go for a bigger gun. Now, ideally, if you're living down in Cornwall and you're diving the west coast of Cornwall all the way down at Land's End, etc., like that, you're always going to have pretty much good viz, you know, 70% of the time of the year. So a 90, maybe even a 100 centimeter may be good for you. Um, obviously, what this does, it gives you more range. It allows you to shoot range because of the visibility. Now, for example, if you're diving Brighton, you're diving in Sussex, even Devon, um, in certain places, it can be quite bad. So an ideal setup for you might be a 75 centimeter. Now, this is what we're looking at when, in terms of length. Um, when we're going for a length, you wanna have it specific to where you're diving and how you're diving to get the most out of your guns. Now, on an average day, I take two guns. I have a 75 and I have a 90. To be honest, the 75 rarely gets shot because obviously diving in Cornwall, I have a lot of good viz a lot of the time, so the 75 doesn't tend to come out a lot. But the 75 has a very specific target for me, and that is hole hunting and obviously bad viz. So for me, hole hunting, I want a shorter gun. I want to be able to get in the holes, not make it, you know, I don't want something really big sticking out. I can get nice and compact. I can get in the holes and I can shoot my trigger fish or etc. whatever it may be. I don't want something with massive amounts of power shooting in holes also. So a 75 is perfect for me when I come to hole hunting and obviously Cornwall still has its bad days. It still has bad viz and it's nice to take a smaller gun out. The reason with a smaller gun, it's easier to track. It's quicker to move in the water. Even if you're doing shallow diving, you're not diving deep, you're getting in string weeds, you're getting in all the weeds in like five meters. You know, it's a smaller gun to be able to navigate quickly for those quick fish, and it's also not gonna get clogged up and entangled in all the seaweed and everything like that. So a 75 is also a great gun to use as an all-rounder. Um, perfect setup is obviously having the two, but if you live in places like Sussex and Devon and places like that, a 75 may be more beneficial to you. So now we've got the size out of the way, let's talk about bands. Now everyone asks about double bands, 16 mil bands, double 14, double 16, 18, 17. There's so much 
the problem is there's so many options, there's so many guns on the market. Now for the UK, the perfect setup is a 16 mil band, single 16 mil band. Now you can opt for a twin at 14 mil band. I would maybe target that more to the females or the ones who load back a 16 mil band that has been set up correctly with the correct elongation. Um, for the gun and the spear. Obviously each gun is different and each setup is slightly different. Personally, I would stick with a 16, single 16 mil band. Now, with a single 16 mil band, it's gonna shoot every fish we've pretty much got in the UK. Um, obviously, if you're going abroad, that's where you start thinking about twin 16s and triple 14s and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for the UK, a single 16 mil band is gonna set you up perfectly right for nearly every fish that we have in the UK. Until that time comes and we get a quota for tuna, you know, a single 16 mil band is gonna set you up really well. Now, the only thing is with a, 60, with a single 16 mil band is you are going to need a spear to accommodate. Now, we've got seven mils, 6.5, 6.25, 7.5, eight mil, some of the Rob Allens, etc. they come usually seven, 7.5 mil, some eight mil, but they come with double 16 mil bands, etc. To be uh, To be honest and personal opinion, it's too overpowered for the UK and a lot of the fish we've got. I did use the owner Rob Allen double 16 mil bands, um, and it used to absolutely blow to bits our fish um, because they're just not big enough and strong enough to obviously take such a punch from a spear. Now, on our guns on the DB range, we have a 6.5 mil MVD spear. Um, perfect spear, perfect setup. We, we're trying to keep our guns lightweight for the UK. We don't need anything so heavy. Being lightweight, they're easier to track. They're easier to shoot. They're a lot nicer to hold. I remember when I first got my Rob Allen, my arm was aching. It was always aching. Whereas the UK, a very nice, simple, lightweight gun is perfect for our situation. So a 6.5 or a 6.25 mil spear with a single 16 mil band will set you up perfect for 99.9% .9 of the fish in the UK. Now, we go into barrels. Now, Everyone always talks about barrels. You've got aluminium, you've got carbon, you've got wood, you've got all sorts. There's all sorts going on. Personally, an aluminium is perfect. It's gonna set you up right. The benefits of it are they're cheaper compared to a carbon or a wood, but aluminium will set you up pretty much throughout everything you need. It's gonna last you a long time also. The only reason I would say go to a carbon is if you're starting to go past the 90 to 100, 100 centimeter mark. When you start hitting the 100 centimeters, maybe think about a carbon. Just because of the power that's going through the bands, you may start to get a slight bow within the barrel because obviously the aluminium isn't as strong as carbon. But that said, an aluminium barrel is gonna set you up pretty much well for the, for the majority of your spearfishing career or hobby, life, whatever you wanna call it within the UK. Now, muzzles, there's loads of different muzzles. Now this one on here is the MVD, the new MVD muzzle. It can take two bands. It's a lovely muzzle, it's very lightweight, it's very small, it's very narrow. So when you look down the barrel, you haven't got much going on. It's very nice and thin, which I really like this muzzle. So guys, just to recap, length, depending how you're diving, what you're diving for, where you're diving, that will determine what length is right for you. 75 for bad viz, holes, shallow string weed hunting, a bigger gun like a 90 to 100 if you've got really good viz majority of the time and you need that extra range for the fish that you're hunting. A single 16 mil band, it will set you up perfect. If you struggle to load a 16 mil band, then maybe look at the options where you've got twin 14 mil bands because they will just be a slightly little bit easier for you to be able to load up. Spear wise, 6.5 or 6.25 mil minimum is ideal for the UK waters. An aluminium barrel will set you up very well. Obviously, if you wish to go carbon, I have run carbon just because I love carbon. Who doesn't love a bit of carbon? But is it necessary for me? No, it's not very much necessary. I can shoot the same fish and have the same results with an aluminium barrel. So guys, this is the DB version. It is available in our shop. This gun will set you up. This will be a gun that you could buy once and you could have it for the next six to seven years, maintain it well, look after it, and it will be a perfect gun for your arsenal. Now guys, let's start from the bottom. Now I need to, as a shop owner, I need to offer some alternatives for people, for example, that may not have the budget to spend on say a DB version, 
Um, spending that 170 to nearly 200 pounds on a gun may not be an option for you right now. It may be that you're a newbie and you don't know whether you're going to enjoy the sport, but you want to get a bit of kit, but you don't want to obviously pay the prices because you may not like it. The amount of kit I see that people buy, get into it, and then they sort of fall out of love with it and they sell the gear. So we try to... The hardest part about a gun that is in a cheaper version is obviously you're going to have cheaper quality parts. They may not last that long, um, but it's going to be a very difficult thing to sort of find. Now, I recently I've got SIAC into the shop um, and we had a little look at their guns. Now, they're a mid-range brand. They do make some quality stuff as well in terms of their watches and things like that. But they are a mid-range brand. Now, we managed to whittle it down. We've got a few online, but this is the one that we hold in stock currently. And this is the SIAC Killer. This is a 90 centimeter gun. We have only got them in the 90s at the minute. Um, but this is a cheap alternative. This is about 60 to 65 pounds in our shop currently right now. Um, is it amazing? Not really. Will it do the job? Yes. Will it get you there? Yes. Will you probably have to replace this? Yes. But we needed an option for the guys that may not be able to afford those good guns. So we're just going to talk briefly through this for a 60, 65 pound gun, what the differences are and what you're getting. You've got a full plastic handle, doesn't feel that great. Plastic trigger. Um, there's no rail for the spear. It's just got two little notches for it to sit in. So, you know, it's not the best of guns. That said, we have a metal wishbone. Now, I'm not a fan of these. They fail quite a lot. I don't know, guys that are in the forums have seen a few people where they've nearly lost their thumbs because of a failure to these. But they will set you up. They will do the job for a minute. Now, obviously, they're screwed in wishbones. You have a screw here that screws into the band and then the metal wishbone goes into the notches of the spear. We have a closed muzzle. Now a closed muzzle is a lot easier for beginners to be able to load them. Majority of guns that I use or sell um, will have an open muzzle. Now an open muzzle is a lot nicer, it's a lot cleaner for, sign, for sight of lion to be able to aim up and track on your fish. Closed muzzle, the spear will rattle a bit, you'll have this big bump in the way it's not that great. So if you can go straight to an open muzzle, learn an open muzzle, your spear fishing experience will be a lot better. But that said, we do do the closed muzzle options and there are a few guns that we have as well also that can have the closed muzzle option if you desire, if that's what you prefer. But that said, it's overall, it's a very cheap gun, but it will set you up, but you most likely will need to upgrade at some point in the future. Um, the spears are slightly cheaper they're made of a cheaper material so they may be more prone to bending if you shoot a rock they may break it may happen with the cheaper guns for example um, we did have a client last year who shot a conga the, the conga snapped basically the spear in half um, just because it was a cheaper gun guy couldn't budget for one it is what it is you know all right so it's just something to think about but we do have the cheaper options there for you guys that can't maybe just push it that little bit more in their budget or even if you just want to test it you know a 60 pound gun you'll be able to sell this again for 30 40 pound and you'll probably do just fine but if you are dipping your toes in then we do have a couple of options but personally we'll get into the next level up now for the next range up one that i would if you're a beginner for the next range up we would talk about the MVD Eriks. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't quote me. I'm sure somebody can tell me if that's not correct, but the Eriks, Eriks is the, the next range up that we would go for. Now these retail and start from around 110 to 130, depending on the size that you go for. Now, these are a single 16 mil band with a 6.5 mil spear, perfect for the UK, aluminium barrel. And these also have some components on that the DB has also. It has the DB muzzle on here, but it also has the MVD standard handle, which is in guns like the uh, My Tarpon guns, for example, have this standard handle on as well. And the Fins for You Fury also has the same handle as well. So it's a perfect little gun. If you can budget from your 60 pound gun, for example, up to around 110, this gun should see you through for the next four to five years very nicely until you may want to upgrade or and when I say upgrade, I mean just something that's just that little bit more in quality. Um, but overall, this is a very good gun, a very good all rounder gun. 
especially for the price point, um, it will see you right, okay? So this is the MVD RX, it's also online as well. But this is just another little range that we can obviously move up into. Now the next gun in our range that we have is the H Dassault Eagle. Now this is a very popular gun. I've sold a lot of these guns in the last year and these are the ones that we do recommend for a lot of beginners, newbies, or somebody that's looking for a solid gun to see you through your spearfishing life. Now, these are a perfect setup. The handle is really nice. It's really set up really well. We've got a very nice reinforced trigger also with good trigger mechs. The spear is a H Assault designed by C4. Spear at 6.5 mil, but also the band is a 17.2 mil single band. Now, the 17.2 accommodates the spear very well, and H Assault and C4 have obviously done a lot of work when it comes down to their guns. They are very much known for their guns. We have a very nice H Assault muzzle. You can twin band it if you wish to, but a single 16 mil band, like we said, is a perfect setup. But it also has the nice fins where it runs the band very nice and streamlined down the barrel. Now they have like an anodized sort of um, powder coated finish to the aluminium barrel, giving it obviously that little bit more quality. Now within in the muzzle as well, we also have a component that is in the C4 Mr. Carbon 2.0. This is where you put your line around uh, for the open muzzle version. Now it's very nice how they've made this gun. We have tested this gun and it is an absolute sniper. Every single person that has purchased this gun has come back and said the gun is absolutely awesome so personally this gun is one that i would recommend to most people if they were looking for a gun now these start in the range of around 150 160 i believe up to about 180 for the longer uh, for the longer spear gun so personally this is a very good gun this will see you through for a lot of your spear fishing career and it will probably be a gun that someone will always go back to because it will never let them down so overall the H Assault Eagle, a very good gun. Now the last gun that I'm gonna talk about is obviously a carbon gun. Now this is the H Assault Phoenix by C4. Um, this is a beautiful gun. Um, we have sold a few of these over the last year or so, um, but they are a wonderful gun. Now this one is actually for a client, which we are gonna be rigging up on camera for you guys today. So you can see the process because this is how the guns come to us. These come to me naked with a spear and the bands but I have to rig them up for you guys. So we are gonna go through the process of rigging these up. But for you guys that like carbon, I love carbon, and I'm a massive fan of carbon guns. Um, just because the kudos, I love, I love it, you know, lightweight, yeah, for a 75, an 80, a 90, it's not gonna make a difference in the water compared to your standard aluminum barrel. But when you start getting into the bigger guns, obviously carbon is gonna make a massive difference. But who doesn't love a bit of carbon? So if your budget can stretch, then obviously you may be interested in something like the H Assault Phoenix, the carbon version. Now they do an aluminium version also, which isn't that much price difference from the Eagle. The only difference is, is the handle. Now, when it comes down to the handle, we do have a customizable handle in terms of hand shape, size, length, and also butt. These can be undone, these can be made bigger or smaller. We also get different attachments when it comes down to the handle. If you've got a smaller hand, you can take a few of these shims out in here, so it makes it a little bit nicer. So you can really custom customize the handle to yourself, um, but it's a really beautiful gun from H to Soul. And again, these come standard, the Phoenix comes standard at twin 14 mil bands, but we do have the option if you prefer for us in the shop to set it up as a single 16 mil band for you, we can also do that. Um, but another beautiful gun. That said, I'm just gonna briefly go over. You do have things like the inverts and things like that. Now, I have an invert for myself. We finished testing with these. They will be available online very, very, very soon. Um, it's been a very bit of a delay getting them online because we just wanna get them right, but we've been doing some testing and we've been hitting some awesome fish and they shoot like an absolute sniper. Um, we have two versions. We have the invert S and the invert B. And now the Invert S is designed more for the UK water. So we're using a 6.5 mil spear. We're using um, six 14 mil bands rather than 16 mil bands. They've been set up with an elongation stretch of about 320%, which is quite small for an invert, but it still packs that punch beautifully and it is perfect for the UK fish. What we don't want is them pinging off, obviously too quick, going through the fish, hitting rocks, 
etc etc for the so the, the setup that we've got for the uk is perfect and the invert b is six 16 mil bands with a 7.5 mil sphere set up for those bigger fish whether you may be traveling abroad or something like that unfortunately i haven't got mine with me today i did leave it at home because we're going into more just the basic sort of guns i didn't decide to bring it but i will be doing a separate video at some point on the inverts <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.